Sorry, guys. Uh, we're checking out pieces of towns we haven't checked yet. These are the backtrack episodes. Don't ever doubt yourself. Or around here is where probably where we got cut and didn't notice. And not like got a cut, but like got the move cut and didn't notice. So this is probably where we're gonna have the most start to see. Start seeing things after this route of uh, stuff that yes, yeah, so like right here is a cut. Yes, we'll use that, and we'll go check up there as well, because it's always good to check. And we found Sharp Beak, which is probably for our bird Pokemon. We gotta start equipping items to our Pokemon too, which uh, we would ask if anyone's... Oh, cool, we got a viewer. Hey, what's up? Feel free to chat along, or just watch. I like Lurkers as well. This is my uh, protagonist, no idea. AKA, I don't know. And we don't have strength yet, so we can't take that. Oh, all right. Well, there's this one's right in front of us. So we're gonna use it. Yes, prickly thorns. Get him, weed bud. Use cut. My while was pulling her weight around, managed to get the five gym badges. Nice, very nice. I mean, what my while is? I like my while. I love the design. I, I, it took me forever to realize that the things on the head were hair, but also, you know, violent animals. <laughs> or extensions, not really like him. I don't know, that, it's one of the more creative Pokemon designs, I think, in the last couple of years, and I like it. Really, I don't know who can use False Swipe, though, man. I really gotta go check that. But it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, thank you for healing me, Nurse Joyous. We restored your Pokemon to Phil Hill. Hope to see you again. Bitch, why do you always hope my Pokemon die? Why? Mib, mib, mibs, mibs, mibs. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Am I supposed to go down this way? What's this way? Not nothing. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, God, I hate that. I wonder how strong this. Oh yeah, that's Smirgle person. I think we've pretty much caught up on everything too. Like we didn't check those areas, and we'll go back and do it on another stream. But yeah, we've done this hotel. We've done all the things. We're pretty caught up to here. So from now on. We're back to doing it like we should, going through piece by piece, saying hi to peoples and picking shit up. Just remember, free shit, y'all. Oh no, it's a scientist. Hello, scientist. Are you going to search for fossils and glittering clave? We'll have to ride on a Rhyhorn to get there in that case. Riding Rhyhorn is so much fun, you can even pretend that you're the famous Rhyhorn Wraith or Grace. That's my mother. Don't you dare talk about riding her. I like to ride Rhyhorn too. Press A button to find a way over the clay. That little ditty will teach you how. Pokemon moves that come in direct physical contact with a target or direct attacks. You want to do something about them? You can try this. Rocky Helmet. Ooh. I got so many items. See, this is, like I said, why you talk to every single person in a Pokemon game. Usually, nowadays, like there's so much just like advice on how to play. Where it's like, yes, that's cool, but there should be like set a little more set. Alright, we are on route. Nine Spikes Passage. But I don't have a Rhyhorn. Oh shit! I guess you just get a Rhyhorn. Hmm. All right. Oh well, that's how you get off. Okay. Let's take it on. I'm gonna switch Pokemon. Uh, we want. Uh... No, 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 back. We also want to give items in a bit, but I want to, like, actually think about that, and we're running a little low on time, so we want to move through this. Weedbud goes first, mostly because he uh, has paralysis, which we need for catching shit. Huh. Interesting. This is cool. This is an interesting addition. I like this. Rhyhorn Riders. Rhyhorn riding Rhyhorns. Ooh, Sandile. Alright. Um, Sandile, Sandile, Sandile. Which I remember from black and white, I think. Ground Dark. That's not bad. That's actually a little more interesting than the other pure dark that we have. Um, weaknesses are all over the place, though. Uh, what we do want to do is not to hurt him too bad, so we're going to stun spore him. And then, um... If he's ground dark...
actually, I should have a Google Sheets. I should have my own uh, weakness thing when I should get that back up and change those. Anyway, oh no, we can't fight with this. Did he get paralyzed? Oh, he might be immune as dark. Oh no, he's avoiding me. Ah, oh, you bitch. I can't take very much damage with the, uh... My weed bud is not have a high, uh, health. So if I can't, um... If I can get him with these stun spores pretty quick, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and he is mad avoiding it because of sand attack. And that's not good for me. Meanwhile, I'm getting beat up by the sand storm. Alright, I got one, uh, more attempt at that, then I gotta switch out. Alright, yeah, we got it. We gotta switch out. I get m so much more hurt trying to catch Pokemon than trying to, uh... Wait, Weed Bud can't be switched out? Shit, I think that's what Torment does. Alright, fine. Um, we'll use a Super Potion on him. Alright, come on, come on, come on. There it is. And the reason that I want to use mine is I can highlight um, the whole thing. Like if I want, I can uh, I can do uh, a highlight like this and then easily get another highlight. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it does that though. If I can, I'm gonna figure out how to make that easier. Stun Spore. There's a lot of stuff I gotta figure out how to make easier and quicker while I do these, but... Oh, I can't use it! Well... Oh shit, I might... There's gotta be something I can do. Big cheeks? I can't be switched out. I, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna kill him if I hit him. Uh, I guess I'll go into the bag and use something for now. Uh, I guess, actually, what is my status restore stuff? Burn, heal, revive. What does a Petra Berry do? Yeah, we're gonna use it on Wee Bud, even though it doesn't do anything right now. Great use assurance. That kind of hurt. Okay, I'm free from Sand Tomb, which I think is what was keeping me. Let's see if I can use Stun Sport. Alright, so we'll switch Pokemon to the mountain. Yeah, that was it. It was the uh, sand tomb keeping me. It's been a while. Sometimes I forget stuff like that. Oh, we got another 20 minutes or so, and then we gotta pop out of here. Oh, and I'm trapped by the team now, which is fine. I mean, this is my... Uh... Let's do one tackle, see how it does. Shitty sand to me so I can't get out. That's not great. Not great at all. Oh, um... Mountain's just gonna heal himself first. Holy shit. That guy's actually tearing into him. In fact, they're no longer... I need to get another gym badge so that I can keep leveling up my high level ones, but the lower level guys actually are going to have to catch up to mid-tier, and with the exception of this guy who only wants to go up one or two. I've been subjected to torment, no! It's alright, I think we're about to c catch this guy. Then we gotta come up with a name for him, shit. Any ideas? Anybody got ideas for names? Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's scrape all his ass. Alright, use. But yeah, if anyone's got ideas for names, I'm always open. Actually, almost all my characters now. Now I've named a couple, but most of my characters are named by other people in this run. Which is fine with me. Hey, got him. Sandile. Cool. Sandile. Hmm. Sandile's Pokemon data is added to the decks. Um, which it moves along below the sand surface, except for its nose and eyes, a dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. Oh, that's cool. 
added science into it. Um, I don't think I got too much. I'm gonna ask one more time if anyone has any suggestions on what they would like Sand Dial to be named. I am usually open to taking whoever's suggestion with very little qualms. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna think up a name real quick. Mmm. Andy Sanderson. I was like, Sandy Anderson. Sammy Banderson. I'm gonna call him Bernie Sanders. Nah. Ah, uh, that's not a good one either. I'm gonna call him Shrewd Sand. That's what I should look at is like what he evolves into eventually and then hope for it. That's that's like my what my friend said. That's what you should do is like name him for what his evolution will be because you want him to get there. And that's like your hope for him. And in other modes, I think that makes more sense than this one. This one's actually like, well, he might not make it that far, so don't name him that. But I don't know. All right, cool. Well, we got a sand aisle. Um, now the f do we do? Can I get over this wall, this mountain? Break it, Rhyhorn. Hey, he does break it. Okay. Alright. And then I can get off of him. Well, this is definitely interesting. It's, like I said, this is a nice, different way to, like, fuck around with the movement. Like, I don't mind it so much when they, um, do stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, if it's unique and novel and not kind of, like annoying so like this one could be annoying it might get annoying but why is my he's backing up why was he going back it made no sense and i'm not worried about meeting anything anything i meet now i can just kill with very little qualms look like it guaranteed to be a sand dial In other words, Giga Drain. And goodbye. Ah, thanks for the health that your homie took away. Cool, I gained experience. Experience from Experience Share. Water Boy is level 24. Oh, he wants to learn Protect. Yeah, I don't think we're going to teach him Protect now. Yep, alright. Sorry, he's not our tanker, I might actually give it to him, but I'm only giving defensive moves to our tanker, who we're switching in for, like, switches and stuff, which is going to be Snorlax. Alright, get that out of the way. Oh, man. And then we're going to have to fight that lady, which is fine. Oh! Sandile! You're being annoying now. Not really, though. I mean, it's a sand aisle. All right, it's Weed Bud. He's here to drain the Giga Monster, the Giga Lizard. Yeah, take the drain, dude. I need your mad super help. And you fainted, you bitch. Later. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, I do voices for the Pokemon in my party. That is uh, my my bud, the Weed Bud. He's a weed bud. Well, she's a weed bud, technically, I think. Oh, there's another one over there. Alright, cool. Now I can hop off the right one up right there. Like how he, like, jumps to the side a little. He's like, yep, go ahead, hop off, buddy. And then I wonder what happens if he just decides to abandon me in there. So how do I get over there? There's another piece down there, it looks like. Why would I go up here? Oh, care for a sky battle? <laughs> I should have figured. Fucking sky battle. Okay. I can completely shug off electric type moves. Oh, Sky Trainer Orion. They really put a flight suit in there. A wing suit. Holy shit. Flapmaster. Wait, I can only fight with my flying types. I see. Wait, isn't this also a bug type? Isn't that like awful terrible? I guess it would just equal out, right? 
Why wouldn't these be over here? Gust again, and we're gonna beat this Letty into just that. Oh no, I'm confused. This is bad. Don't you dare. Oh, he hurt himself. You stupid son of a bitch. We better gust him so hard. Silver Wind? What the f is that? It's not very effective. And he snapped me out of my confusion, so thank you. And take that. Super effective. Alright, last one against the Sky Trainer. And he avoided the attack, so blam! Take that! The Flapmaster just wrecked your shit! And he's the flappiest. The Flapmaster gained pretty good experience from that. Wait, it doesn't matter if I'm wearing the suit. It's my Pokemon that are taking the hits. Yeah, no, that's... Yep. Yeah. And thanks for the money. Love money. Alright, so this is over here. And then we gotta go back down to the other one. Ooh, a Dusk Ball. Alright. Alright, goodbye. Yep, get, get on the right horn. Get on the right horn. Alright, let's go. Got, no, don't walk backwards. Ah, you're infuriating. How do we get all back over the gut? Oh my god, this is so dumb. It turns backwards! Does it backwards A? Nope, it can't. I have to turn it around. That's dumb. That's dumb. Yeah, that's fine. We'll kill whatever it is in one hit, and then we'll be out of here. Oh, I would have liked this. A hippopotamus. Like I said, I gotta do a run for my fun one. Maybe I'll do another run that's just regular if people are willing to watch it, but... I'm surprised people are watching it, though. Give me a Giga Drain. Thank you. Thank you. Hippopotamus. Your mom would thank you. But it's gone. <laughs> Damn it, go up. Damn 3D, man. Definitely not uh, the one I want to be doing. Here. Oh, I don't even think I can get through this because he's in the way, can I? Nope. Ah. <laughs> we can go to this one, though. I found a Firestone. Cool. I didn't have to buy one yet. Probably need that for the mega evolution of whatever I'm getting. Yeah, we need to back you up a little bit, buddy. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's nice. And then I gotta look for someone to raid after I finish, too, so I'm gonna start looking around here in a second. Because I'm starting to get up to that time. I need to start prepping some shite. Actually, I really don't. There's not much I gotta prep. Um, take this. So I'm ready to go pretty quickly after we finish this. Found a paralyzed heal. I really just want to get through this area and then I'm probably going to call it good because we're, like I said, approaching time in like 10 minutes. But I also explore a little too much, so it might take me a little longer than it should. Alright, up. Can I run on this thing? Nope, <laughs> I was trying to get off and it won't let me. Oh, and a sand dial. Who would have guessed? And we stepped on it. Take this, you bomb muffa. changed mine to be organized into like best to least like the most greens and least reds or most reds and least greens going this way 
basically. But, you know, it's the way it is. Do I have to pop out to fight her, I'm guessing? Probably. Hello. I guess I don't fight you. Hello, train let me just Oh my god, they're everywhere. This is so infuriating to me that they're getting their hands held so hard like that. Like as a kid I remember and not to say that it's like even it's just like I said it takes away I think from some of what the game is, is like, yeah, this part's supposed to be a little tougher, but it's not because you just heal. Oh, I guess this is where I lose my Rhyhorn. I miss you, Raiho. This might be a good spot too. Let's talk to him. It's really easy to lost. Let's take one step at a time. Go rush into Karras and you'll never find your way out. You can merely warp outside by using an escape rope, which we do have. Uh, this is Glittering Cave. Alright, uh, I think even to get though I want to uh, keep playing and do a little more here and there. Well, let's do a little more because technically my session is until uh, I think 10.30. So... <laughs>